I think CEOs should get paid 10% higher than the lowest paid employee and that's it. Now, I can already feel a lot of you ready to comment uh, and say that's unrealistic, that'll never happen, that type of thing. And, you know, there's essentially both sides to this opposition. Number one, uh, is, you know, the sort of capitalist viewpoint that CEOs deserve their pay, right? And they deserve to be compensated for their worth and stuff like that. And on the other side, that it's highly unrealistic that this would ever happen. Like, it's a great idea, but it would never happen. And I want to pose to you this, um, that sure, it may not happen across the board and it may not be like a law that can be implemented, but there are companies that we can point to in a number of ways that are trying to do things differently um, that are counterproductive or counterintuitive rather to you know what the norms are because they want to do it better and, and have a better experience um, for people, right? Think of like there's there's enough examples out there of companies that are essentially run democratized, right? That to me is beautiful to see. Right. And there's other sort of examples of that as well and whatnot. And listen, you know, what the point of this really is, and, you know, I just want to kind of give a specific example of a way that companies could form and be a little bit different, um, you know, but I, I'm not saying ultimately that is the one example that it has to um, be. But I just think, you know, in, in that same way, I think sort of going off the Gandhi quote of being the change we wish to see within a society, that's what this is all about, really. That's, that's the core of the message that I'm trying to say is if you are starting a business and things like that, um, the conventional norms of our capitalist society, you know, they don't have to apply to you. Like just because, quote unquote, it has worked in the past doesn't mean that's the only path forward. And again, in many ways, we can argue, well, how well does it work when uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, society, there's, there's a growing in, uh, wealth inequality level, right? So I think this is one creative way to counteract that and, and, and have that. Now, the reason I say, you know, the 10% and stuff like that, because let's really examine it, right? So... CEO pay, right? We, we, we think like, oh, you know, people need to be incentivized to, to, to help the company and grow the company and so forth. Well, the problem with, as it's structured to me at the moment, it's on a very individualistic level. Like, um, they're wanna, gonna make the company do good for themselves, right? Whereas if their pay is dependent on their lowest paid employees and stuff like that, well, that means they have to grow the company bigger so that way uh, there's more revenue and everyone's pay can increase because if their pay increases, meaning the employees, that means the CEO's pay can also increase, right? The higher uh, that, that threshold goes, then, you know, the more the CEO is being paid. But it's one of those, you know, the, the all ships rise as, as the tide rises, right? That's really what this is all about. So... You know, I'm not saying it's the end all be all solution, but um, as I said, the core of my message is that, you know, we, we can rethink the ways in which, um, especially, you know, for our own companies, how we want to do business so that, for lack of a better term, it's more humane, right? And what I would love to see in the comments actually is what are other suggestions that you might have to allow for companies, like what, what ideas within companies that can foster more of a communal sense, more of a win-win mentality, rather than, you know, just an individualistic one. So, I'd love that, and I think we've come up with a really cool collective list.